I couldn't believe that it actually worked. Well, turns out this AI model generator spits out a pre-made CPU fan model whenever you type in the words CPU fan. But is AI actually good at 3D modeling? For context, you can represent a real-life object as a computer 3D model by drawing it in a 3D modeling software. I want to know if AI can do that, and how well. So I found three promising AI modelers, Adam, Cat, Scribe, and Zoo, which is the one with the CPU fan demo. I'll use these to design a gear, metal bolts, and propeller. Then I'll use the best of these to create a mechanical toy I have in mind. So let's take a look at Zoo. I prompted it to make a gear, and it did a pretty good job. But when I had it design a bolt, it was missing threads you'd normally see. I tried prompting it to add them, but it couldn't do it. Definitely tried though. And then came the propeller. It was very interesting, I'll give it that. But definitely isn't an accurate propeller. Okay, the next AI modeler is Adam. It made the gear, though a bit basic, and it was able to make the bolt with threads after nudging it a bit, though the threads look a bit weird. And the propeller... I don't, I don't even know what it was going for. And finally, we got CAD Scribe. Its gear design looks pretty good, but when trying to make a bolt, it failed the first time, made a basic shape the second, and did who knows what with the threads on the third time. And of course, the propeller seems to be a universal tragedy to these AI modelers. Now I have to choose the best of these not-so-promising AI modelers to make a mechanical toy. I'm starting to regret this at this point. Either way, I chose Adam to fully create the more complicated project, mainly because it made the bolts with threads, though it struggled, while the other two AI modelers failed completely. And it's the only one with an image import feature, so that could help. I want this to be some sort of a mechanical ball launcher as a fun little toy. This will require a new approach to prompting, as I can't just say, design a mechanical ball launcher toy and expect it to work. Oh wait a minute, this is actually pretty good. Well, unfortunately, it's not gonna work. So, starting with the spring, I was able to get a nice model surprisingly easily. The cool thing with Adam is that I can adjust the parameters of the object with the sliders over here. I prompted it to add a simple circular base and a handle, which I needed to adjust the position a bit through prompting. Next was the cylinder, which would hold the spring and the ball. It's basically just a hollow tube with a slot for the handle to slide through. Finally, the ball, which was very simple to prompt, of course. It's time to 3D print and test this thing in real life. But speaking of 3D printing, if you have a 3D model, either by designing it yourself or by using AI to think the model into existence, but you don't have a 3D printer to bring it into real life, you can have PCBWay print it for you. They offer 3D printing services with many different materials. In fact, you can get a discount of up to 80% off of flexible TPU, but only for this September. Other than 3D printing, you can also manufacture your design in metal using various methods like CNC milling or sheet metal manufacturing. And of course, PCBWay can manufacture your PCB designs. Okay, back to making the mechanical ball launcher. After downloading the parts and checking that they do indeed fit in the 3D modeling software, I printed it in PETG, which is a 3D printer material that I've used for springs before, and it's also good for mechanical strength. Definitely pretty springy here. Let's just test this out real quick. Okay, so uh, I guess it's time to test this out. So let's uh, see how this thing works. I got it springed up here, if that's even the right word. So uh, here we go. Hopefully I didn't jump scare you guys there. So there's my target. So just going to use this to aim. Here we go. Yes, we got it. Good job, guys. So I realized that I may be able to have a propeller design using an AI modeler like Adam. I just need to hold its hand very tightly, aka describe each step to make the propeller in detail. So I tried that. And the first attempt led to the same results as before, but with some encouragement, it got closer to the propeller. I also used the image import feature to help it out. If the blade was too skinny, I mentioned it and described how to fix it. I just had to do that many times to get it to actually change. But eventually I got it. A lot of prompting later, I got what looks to be a CPU fan without the housing. Not too bad. So telling an AI to design a CPU fan from the ground up won't work, but telling it the very specific instructions that make up a CPU fan design would get you most of the way there. 
Honestly, just manually using the 3D modeling software is more fun, rewarding, and maybe even easier. But I am most likely biased because I use 3D modeling software like a thousand times more than AI modelers, so who knows. What I do know is that our creativity and imagination is what gives us an edge over AI, at least for now.